Hi Virgo. So sorry you're last. You will be my first in um, about 11, 12 days when I do them again. Um, trying to, uh, I'm getting to end it. My head keeps going blank so I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, right, so yeah, as I said in all the other videos, I've been a bit lapsed today as it last few months uh, with my YouTube videos. Um, getting them uploaded and things like that and missing out and things. Um, I do read readings um, full time as my work um, in person. Um, so I decided to give back and put onto YouTube. So I've got to like mix in the YouTube videos with my actual clients and it's a bit hard with each video taking, they can take up to like 30 minutes, 12 star signs. Um, so I wanted to do this anyway at this time cancer full moon tonight um you know emotional release we've got the lunar eclipse as well uh a lot of good energy we're going into the brand new new year new decade so i wanted to get on top of my video so i do promise there will be at least two videos uploaded for each star sign every single month if i get any more if i get any spare time i might do some uh other readings i don't just focus on love and romance i do general so if they want to talk about love and romance i will talk about love and romance finances career um spirit spiritual journey it depends every every star sign gets a totally different reading um so i'll just jump in uh today i'm going to be using this month i'm going to be using the psychic tarot uh deck from john holland and doreen virtues angel tarot deck I don't know what I'll do for next reading because I'll swap and change my cards. I'll just go with whatever I feel um, at the time. Um, and I keep forgetting as well to say like like or comment or let me know. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't mind criticism. You know, I take positive from it. So I'm going to jump straight in. Virgo, spiritual tarot. Oh, that was quick. Suffering in silence, what are you waiting for? So suffering in silence, like you're waiting for something. I feel like you're waiting for someone else to uh, do something, you know, but the it's the end of suffering in silence. That's the situation. But I still kind of feel like what you're waiting for. Mm. Sorry, uh, people keep messaging me. People keep messaging me asking me when the video's coming up for their turn. Because uh, I upload, upload them on Facebook. So you challenge, yeah. When I was just saying what you're waiting for, your challenge is the waiting game. <laughs> so are you getting a bit tired of waiting for something now? Because I'm feeling you. Uh, you, you know, but while you think you're going around in circles and waiting, something is blossoming. So, yeah, you're definitely waiting for summer. Uh, but what are we waiting for? So now I'm, now I'm intrigued. So why is this going right now? Why is this going right now, Virgo? Stand your ground. Hmm. So are you not chasing? Yeah, you know, I'm kind of feeling that this is swaying um, relationship-wise. Like, maybe you're not together, but you're not chasing either. It's basically like, if you want to come and get... If you want to come and get me, come and get me. I'm getting, You know, you're getting a bit tired of waiting. Waiting for something to happen, but stubborn. But I think it's a good thing. So this... this I don't know what I nearly said then. This person could have, like, kind of pissing past. So now it's like if they want some, they're coming to get it. But because I'm not moving, I'm not budging, you know, and I won't be waiting forever either. It's definitely like a waiting aspect. Um, so recent past power. Yeah, you stepped into your own power, like ended a karmic cycle. Maybe maybe you were the one who were chasing this person and now it's like, well, no, not done with that. I, I, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm putting my boundaries up. Stepped into your own personal power. At present, the wheel of destiny starts to spin in your favour. You, you, you're not willing to keep going round in these circles or losing yourself, finding yourself, losing yourself, finding yourself. It's bang, this is what I want, this is what I deserve. I'm in my personal power now, bang. Yeah, you know, if you see my worth, come and get me. Quite, yeah. Quite easily to read. Yeah. 
near future victory and success or whatever you're waiting for it is coming around <laughs> victory and success so it'll be successful uh you'll be successful you've got to stand your ground and keep waiting the, the challenge is the way in and i totally get that because i'm i'm t so impatient um but you wait it out you get your victory and success your power in this situation whatever you're waiting for will come into fruition your power in the situation is it is probably the capricorn season um with the devil card being your power well the devil is a bit naughty and is, uh, you know what i mean the devil card is a bit you know it can be negative but i'm not picking up negative it's your power so maybe it is to have a bit of devil energy and you know that ego you know like no nope, i'm not taking nothing that that's beneath me i know my worth now you know a bit of passionate about yourself um but your power yeah it's your power be passionate about yourself but it could all come into fruition in capricorn season well we are in capricorn season so this could be where you're setting the law down with yourself nope don't chase don't message don't do that let them do it with you outside influences accelerated motion yeah i do feel things are going to be coming in quick things are coming in quickly but i feel it's because you're not doing anything which is a strange one because you've got it's like you've got to sit back and wait for it to come to you don't go and you've done your work don't go chasing them to do theirs don't be the fixer you just stay with yours if they're meant to be in your life they'll come someone's coming in quickly too many pops off ears there go If you can hear music blasting, my 11 year old thinks she's a rock star. Hope so, fears your intuition. It's like you feel like there's a door opening. You, you can feel energetically that this person is, is going to come back or is going to make contact or is going to actually pull the finger out and do something. Um, but then you kind of fear, am I wrong? Uh, you, you know, but I'd, I'd go with your intuition because I'm, I'm seeing that you've just got to play the waiting game. Sorry, that I just found out I didn't even shuffle. <laughs> and then near future, yeah, you're building towards some type of partnership alliance. So it is between two people. It is between two people. Um... <laughs> she find queen. Yeah, it's definitely between two people. So you're right, come. We're waiting on this partnership and then we've got prosperity this be begins you know people working together that's nice this definitely this yeah this is definitely to do with a partnership um a union a relationship i don't like the word relationship though um but yeah you've got to stand your ground and wait because they i feel like they've got to do with the work now i think they're used to you chasing them if i'm honest and whatever's happened, it's flipped things over. You, you've kind of taken your power back. That's good. I like it. Stay in that power. What are you waiting for? Well, you're waiting for someone to see your worth and do something about it. Pull the finger out. So the angel cards for Virgo. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. So... Yeah, you're standing your ground in this decision that you've made. You, you've you made this decision. You're standing your ground. Challenge. The nine of earth. Enjoying life, little luxury, spending quite time alone, successful self-employment. It's the single independent person card. So that it could be challenging you now because, because you're single. The challenge could be that because you're single, you might not want to be single. You know, you might want to get back together with someone. Or are you defending a decision because you've left someone? But I'm not feeling that though. Why is this coming around now? Six of air. Things looking up the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So maybe this person I was talking about in psychic tarot is going to pull the finger out and book a little weekend away or something like that i just feel like 
someone hasn't been putting in the effort in and this relationship or partnership has been kind of on off either physically separating or even living in the same house but like being what do you call it like ships in the night type of thing there's not been enough um give and take and enough uh i feel like you need attention but not in a negative way not like you're an attention seeker in a way that you deserve it you know it's It's like some of you are waiting for someone to come back or some of you are actually waiting to see if they're going to do it and if they don't, you're off. I'll be single. You know, I'll I'll end this difficult situation and I'll stand by what I decide. It, it, it's that kind of energy. Recent past, the dreamer. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So you're wanting the brand new fresh start with the dreamer card. It's the full card in the right of way. You're wanting the you're wanting the brand new fresh start. You you feel something new. It's either within a relationship or coming away from a relationship. At present, awakening. So looking at things from a different uh, perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. A temporary standstill, it's like you put yourself on pause. Are they going to do it or are they not? I'll only wait a certain amount of time. I, I do feel like you're being strict with yourself with that. Near future is the seven of air. Plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye. Poor timing. Um, can be the cheating, stealing, lying card. But in the Angel Tarot, I kind of see it as... I, I see it differently, and especially in this reading. So if you look at this card and i know people will have different interpretations and i i have different interpretations um i'm kind of getting that there's a couple that needs to sod off on their own get off this carousel whether it's work family uh, you know it's, you need time out so if you're the cross watcher and you're dating a virgo or you you in a relationship with a virgo you want to get back with a virgo put some bloody effort in Take them out, <laughs> you know, there's, there's effort needed. And Virgo, they need to chase you. You've done your bit. Your power in this situation, we've got competing goals, bothers some details and conflict with others. That is your power, is to not get in conflict. Don't argue, you, you know, but I do feel like you need to speak your truth with the bothers some details. If something's bothering you, tell that person that something's bothering you. Outside influences, ego, a false sense of entrapment, negative or fear based thoughts. Are you dealing with a Capricorn? Or maybe it's just that we're in Capricorn season. False sense of entrapment. It's like it's got boring. Hawks or fears. Ace of Earth, you want stability. Abundance, probably promising business ventures. Something to look forward to. You know, there's important document and contracts. It can be so say you've been together for years. You might want them to actually put a ring on it. Or you know, if you're a male, you might be thinking like, I would like to, you know, take this bit further, but the other person doesn't seem to be, you know, they seem to be complacent. Your outcome is, yeah, you're building your way up to make a decision because both cards, so I'm going to believe, believe in it with these two because you're definitely making a decision. We've got the seven of water, a complex decision. They need to do research, stop putting it off. I think you need to tell them how you're feeling. If you're not with them, do not contact them because you need to make that decision for yourself by how long are you going to wait? How long are you... What, how much more effort are you going to put into this connection? And then we've got, on top of that, the four of air. Uh, time to rest or take a vacation. You've got two cards now that are saying that you need a break. Uh, a line more time before making the decision. Meditation may provide answers. So there's a decision that you're going to have to make, but I really do hope that if it's a person, uh, you know, that you're apart from, that you feel is coming back or it's in a relationship and you kind of feel like there's still something there, 
I feel like you've given a lot and now it's time for you to be given. It's time for you to be dated and treat the way, yeah, you know. And I, I do feel like some of you are feel, starting to feel a bit down about it. Um, but no, it's like you've put, you're, putting, you're starting to put time limits on it. Like you're making, there's definitely, you, you've got four cards here that I say about decisions, making a big decision. Um, so I hope that resonates and I hope it helps in some way, but I'll, I'll wait until next reading and see what comes from that one. Okay, hope it helps. Bye.